to another unboxing video. First of all, I want to thank you guys for tuning in once again. I really appreciate the support. And uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Just click on the subscribe button at the bottom right corner of your screen. And uh, if you uh, find that uh, cartoon icon of myself uh, in the setting in the box, just click on that to subscribe to my channel. So anyway, I'm really excited uh, for this special unboxing today. And uh, because it took forever for this uh, special edition set to uh, get to my doorstep. And uh, I pre-ordered this back in July 2022 and it just got here uh, this year, August, <laughs> uh, this month of August. And uh, there were so many delays and they said that they were gonna ship this out uh, by November around that time before Christmas, but it didn't happen. But I'm finally, I'm glad it's here. It's the brand new uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge Radical Edition by Limited Run Games. So uh, I'm really excited uh, to check, uh, unbox this thing. Uh, I haven't played the game yet. I was waiting for for this box to arrive so I can start playing the game. But I have not bought the game yet because I'm there's so much hype. It's probably one of the best Ninja Turtle games out there. But uh, I held back and because I wanted to open this uh, box first and then I'm gonna play the game. So uh, let's go ahead and check this out. <laughs> So as you can see, when I open the box, there's so much stuff in this Radical Edition. It's one of the reasons why I bought this set, you know, for only $200, uh, you were able to get all this stuff, man, which is pretty cool. But I'm going to start off with some of the uh, smaller stuff. So it comes with this uh, super cool uh, Michelangelo card. Uh, I think it's different uh, turtles for each uh, set. So I think some people probably got different turtles. So I got a Michelangelo one. It, could, uh, it has like this pretty cool uh, foil uh, stamp right there check that out and uh, yeah this uh, nice artwork of Michelangelo right there and the back says limited run series 3 uh, I don't know why series 3 how many series of a uh, Ninja Turtle cards have they released but <laughs> yeah it comes with this Mikey card and then um, we have here the steelbook case which is pretty awesome check that out man so nice artwork for the video game it says here shredder's revenge and the back sewer sewer cover shredder's revenge and the inside as you can see here man uh, that's the that's the art some artwork from the game uh, of new york city and you have the turtle blimp right there so that's pretty awesome and of course the game comes in the mister packaging which is i don't understand why they did this I think it's kind of annoying that they did this. I want to open the game without damaging the blister packaging. So I'm going to have to open this up, you know, but uh, nice, pretty cool. Uh, you have the video game sprites there of, uh, of the turtles, April, Spinner. That's awesome. So, and uh, and the back here. So that's pretty cool to be honest. It, it just mimics the, you know, the packaging from the toys. Uh, mine came increased. Uh, I don't know why it has damage there. I'm gonna end up opening it anyway because I'm gonna open the game and play it. 
So and plus there's stuff inside the video game, like the stickers and the uh, the Pizza Hut coupon. Um, so these are pretty cool, man. I like the artwork in the back. So you know, so some text there, and uh, as you can see here, there's some uh, dotted lines here. So where that's where you're gonna open it. So it won't really you don't have to like really damage the packaging so it, it depends on how you want to open it so if you don't want to uh, damage this you can just go ahead and open it the normal way <laughs> you're in the front but that's how they want to do it so all right so i decided to open the blister packaging for the game and uh, i didn't want to do it but i was going to play the game anyway and this is for my collection so i decided to open it uh, the way i did it is just i used the cutter here um, I know there are so many ways you can open the blister packaging, but I didn't want to damage the back here, you know, like cutting through the lines. So I just decided there was a little bit of opening here. So I just cut it and uh, traced it with a cutter and got the game out. So, and uh, here it is. And uh, let's see what's inside. And of course you have your uh, Pizza Hut uh, coupon right there. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna use that right away. <laughs> to get my free pizza and then you have your art booklet here check that out man now this is what i want to see when i open up my video games man i want to see art booklets you know strategy guides that's what i want to see so wow check that out even the boom there you go that's a pretty nice artwork right there i like that so nice this is pretty cool and of course here you go here is here are the stickers so you have your video game sprites right there. That's pretty awesome, you know. So Leo doing his uh, leader leader pose. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. And of course you have the game there, and you have a reversible cover, so you can use either side. I think it's the same. Is it the same? Oh no, you have uh, this side. You have the shredder in the background, and then on this side, you have just like a you know like the video game background i think so i think this is cooler so whatever you want to use but yeah that's it all right next up we have these vhs style uh, boxes that you can store the games in as you can see here I, I kind of like assembled it you know folded it on the flaps a little bit but that's pretty awesome check that out man nice artwork you know, it really tries to mimic the, the VHS style packaging back in the day. This is supposed to be the sleeve, and this is supposed to be your VHS or VCR box. And oh, that, that's trying to mimic the VHS actually tape. And then you slide that in here, and there you go. Oops. That's it. And that's how you're supposed to store the game in. And then you put the your video game in here so there you go and then you just close this flap up but i don't know what this flap is for but uh this is how, pretty much how you use this uh boxes all right next up we have the shredder's revenge uh soundtrack as you can see here this is actually a cd nice artwork in the front and here in the back you have you'll see the list of the songs they used uh throughout the game and then you have your composer and then you have your soundtrack songwriters at the bottom so that's pretty awesome that they included this. And then you have your mini, mini arcade cabinet. This is electronic and it should play the Shredder's Revenge video game in the small uh, you know, screen right here. But I'm not sure if it plays, you're gonna be able to play the whole game. You haven't tried it out yet. So as you can see there, different sides have different art. We have the turtles here on the left. On the right, we have uh, the, the Foot Clan. We have Shredder and Bebop and Rocksteady. And then ah, it really looks cool, man, to be honest with you guys. And then you have your USB connectors right there. You can uh, connect the, uh, the arcade cabinet to a power source and you can play this game. So, All right, next up, we have this very cool shadow box that was included with the set. And uh, I didn't even know these were called shadow boxes, man. I see these all the time. You know, uh, people are selling these and I was wondering how they did this. But it seems like there's like three layers to the frame and uh, uh, you, you have uh, we have your background there, uh, which is the you know the junkyard I think, and uh, you have uh, on the second layer you have uh, uh, three turtles and Bebop and Rocksteady of April there too, and on the surface you have Splinter, Foot Soldiers, and Mikey, 
and of course you know you have the garbage right here so that's pretty awesome i always wonder what how they did this but uh this is a cool item that you can display on your shelf all right next up we have your shredder's revenge strategy guide by press run and i forgot that this set actually came with a with a strategy guide but this is pretty awesome check that out man nice uh, print there you have all the different uh, art turtles there nice art and then on the inside yeah you have the, your glossary or table of contents you know so that's pretty awesome look that check that out how to play they really teach you the basics and you know um, like this is very good for me because I haven't played the game at all but uh, sometimes I probably won't even need this because I'll be busy trying to figure out everything on my own so this is a very cool addition to this radical edition set man I can really smell the the fresh uh, print of the <laughs> of this book, which is uh, kind of addicting. <laughs> All right, next up we have the classic uh, Shredder action figure based off the figure by Playmates Toys uh, that was released back in 1998. As you can see here, uh, we get, I believe that he has the updated uh, colors, and uh, if you could see here in the back, um, he has uh, blue. Uh, his armor is color blue, you know, and then um, he appears sh he's shirtless here. And also has like a very, very dark, uh, I think it's either dark blue, dark purple mask. So I had the figure back in the day, man. This makes me uh, <laughs> want all my uh, classic uh, Ninja Turtle figures back now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, as you can see here, uh, the way it says he has the updated paint now. His uh, colors are very consistent. He has uh, his armor, his uh, helmet and mask are the same color now. It matches. It's just pretty cool. And the same thing with his armor, shoulders and his claws. And he now appears to have a shirt on. <laughs> so uh, before he, didn't, he was shirtless, they just painted it like uh, gray. So it looks uh, that he's wearing armor. And which is also uh, uh, kind of like uh, mimics the uh, the way he, way he looks in the cartoon. And of course he has his weapon rack right here, also colored uh, gray. Um, I think uh, this was color orange back then. Back then. Uh, I can't remember anymore. But uh, that's his weapon rack. And this packaging really uh, is pretty cool. And it's uh, almost the same as the original packaging back in 1998 with all the information in the back and all that. And you have your different turtle figures here too. So that's pretty cool. And for the last item, this is the super cool poster that came with the, the Radical Edition as you can see here. That's pretty awesome. Check out. You have the shredder on the top of the roof right there. So, and Mikey, so much going on in this in this uh, poster. But uh, this is the same artwork they used for the box for the Radical Edition. Not the sleeve, but the actual box. So, check that out. That's pretty awesome, man. Pretty cool. And on the back, you have your original video game cover art. So... You want to display this or you put it, you want to frame this this is probably something you can uh, choose from but i prefer using this uh, this uh, version of the this side of the poster this is pretty awesome so overall man uh, this uh, shredder's revenge radical edition is just an awesome set to own to be honest with you guys man for 200 dollars, you get an action figure you got a soundtrack cd you got a shadow box, you got a mini arcade cabinet, you have a strategy guy, you have a tin case for your for your uh, video game, you have uh, you know VHS style packaging for your video games too, and then you have a poster, you get like uh, you get stickers, and then of course you get the pizza, you know free pizza. What else can you ask for in a you know in a Ninja Turtles uh, video game uh, special edition set? And man, I was so excited that I was able to pick this up. Man, I've never been excited. Uh, about uh, getting uh, a special collector's edition set of a video game uh, in a long time, you know, and uh, this is so worth it. You know, um, if you want to get this, uh, it's probably going to pay $500 now for this set, to be honest with you guys. And uh, yeah, um, I'm just excited to play this game already. And, and uh, one of the reasons that I waited, held back on, uh, held back on buying the, the video game is because I was waiting for this set to arrive. Now it's here, I can finally relax and uh, chill out and play the video game. And that wraps up my unboxing of the Shredder's Revenge Radical Edition by Limited Run Games. And uh, what can I say, this is just an awesome collector's edition for the Shredder's Revenge. Uh, and uh, I'm so impressed by the items that they included inside it, you know. So 
uh, definitely a must own if you're a fan of the Shredder's Revenge video game or any of the Ninja Turtles classic video games, you know, definitely a must have. So unfortunately, if you're looking for this set right now, um, it's not being sold anymore. It was made to pre-order last year on July and we're just getting our copies now in August. There were so many delays. It was supposed to be released last year and uh, you might have to pay double the price now if you want the set sealed brand new. It depends on what system too. So uh, I think you might end up paying 400 500 dollars. I got mine is the PS4 version. So it also plays on the PS5. So I have no issues there. So hopefully you'll be able to get a, a copy of this collector's edition. So it's so worth it, you know. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for tuning in once again. I really appreciate the support. And uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.